Right, hello everybody, it is Ordinal Wolf, and today we are doing another Minecraft Mod Spotlight. So, um, before we get into it, I'd like to say Happy New Year and welcome to a new 2020. So, without further ado, let's get into the mod. So, today we are looking at um, Wild Chaotis, uh, basically gauges and switches. So, Gauges and Switches is a mod which basically just adds a ton of variations to buttons, levers, and it also adds a couple of sensors. Sensors, however, I shall be showing you guys how they work a little bit later. However, as you can see, we've got some industrial-themed-esque buttons, levers, as well as meters and entity detectors and whatnot which is pretty damn cool. These can definitely be used for themed builds, especially like making like a military bunker, which is pretty damn sweet. So without further ado, let's move on to another theme. So we've got the old fancy theme, which also adds some more levers and also buttons. So they work the exact same as your normal levers and buttons in Minecraft. Basically just play around with them. Next up, we have some rustic themed buttons and levers, all of which are pretty damn cool. Some of them will have names that aren't quite the same as, you know, your normal one, but they're pretty damn cool regardless. Um, we also have some pressure plates and trap doors. Um, we actually have two different versions. so. We have your standard pressure plate, which works as your normal pressure plate would. And um, this one is also the same as a normal pressure plate, um, just that it's a bit larger. However, we have this one that is called a shock sensitive pressure plate. Now this works both from the player jumping on it and it's activated or by chucking items onto said pressure plate and then it activates for one pulse. So pretty damn cool. Uh, this is the exact same for these trap doors, so they're shock sensitive, so if I was to fall on them, then they activate and then readjust, and then this one's a slightly more sensitive one, so even if you were to chuck, say, a piece of stone on it, it takes a little bit more time, this one, however, just almost instantly goes... And then lastly, we have the Rustic Fall-Through Detector Trapdoor. This one just detects um, basically an entity falling through, as well as blocks. So, well, blocks or items. So pretty useful for just like little things like that, like traps and whatnot. So yeah, pretty damn cool. Right, next up, the next part of this mod is uh, some more, I guess, laboratory based stuff so we have some actual gauges and then we also still have the normal switches and buttons um, we also have some lights alarms and sirens so let's go through these uh, we so we have these like redstone gauges which I shall show you exactly how they work a little bit later we also have some like timer clocks, um, we also have interval timers, we have infrared entity detectors, laser entity detectors, we also have this alarm lamp and the alarm siren, both of which when activated via redstone um, basically emit their appropriate response. So the alarm lamp will just signal like this, the alarm siren however just sounds off, oh there you go. And then uh, basically you've got all your switches and buttons. There's even like the small little light switch, which is pretty cool. But last but not least, we have some green LED indicators. Well, not just green. We also have yellow, red, and white. There's also blinking variations of these. So when these LEDs are powered via redstone at the back, I've got them all powered via redstone blocks. Basically, they all just do this. They either have the stagnant uh, stay on constant effect and the blinking ones just blink. So pretty damn cool. So once again, used especially for themed builds. Next up, we have redstone sensitive glass. Uh, so redstone sensitive glass, as you can see, um, there's basically the just normal glass. And then there is also stained versions of 
all of them, which is pretty damn cool. So that, as you can see, all see-throughable. But when powered via redstone, turn a different shade of color. So basically, the color that of you know glass they are, they actually emit light, and they also turn to that color. It's pretty damn cool. Like that can be used for so many different build ideas. Like I would use these yellow ones because yellow's sweet. And I like the idea that you can see through it, and it's also emitting light. Oh, isn't it glorious? But, um, yeah, that's that. And next up, I shall show you guys how the various sensors and gauges work. So, first up, this is the exact same for the other glass versions and the other variations of them. Um, it's also... It's basically, if not exactly the same, for the infrared and then the laser entity detector. They're basically very similar. Um, what you can do, you can suggest, well, adjust certain properties. So you can adjust the range, so it'll detect an entity within four to three blocks. And then you can also change um, kind of how many entities you want it to be checking for. You can also change the type of entity you want it to check for, so you can change it from, say, like, everything to, um, objects, villagers, animals, mobs, and players. And then you can also change the amount of redstone it outputs, which is, uh, pretty damn cool. So, just to show you guys how it works, I'm just gonna set this to everything. I'm also going to set the sensor range to 2. No, one. And I'm also going to change the entity threshold to one. And I'm just going to leave the redstone output. I have a villager spawn egg here. And as you can see, that trips the switch. So thank you, Adam, for participating in our little test. That was very nice of you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, next up we have the local light sensor. There are different variations in terms of glass and stuff, but basically very similar in terms of the buttons. Um, you can turn, kind of, or change the values of which it turns on and off for. Um, and then basically you can also change the amount of redstone that outputs and whatnot. Very easy and simple to go by. Um, basically, I've got this on an inverted signal, so um, it'll only output, well, it's outputting redstone on an inverted redstone signal, so that's not powered. And then basically, if I was to then change it to, say, nighttime, it'll then power it. And then if I set it to daytime, it will no longer power it. Very easy, very simple. Next up, we have the industrial rain sensor. Uh, basically, the only thing that you can adjust on this one is the amount of power it outputs. It's pretty simple in terms of you set it to raining and then uh, bam, redstone is now being outputted. And if we set it to clear, then uh, redstone goes away. After that, we have the thunderstorm detector. Very similar to the rain sensor in us. In a, in a way, but it detects actual thunderstorms. So if we set it to a actual thunderstorm where there's going to be like lightning and whatnot and all the clouds go dark, then it shall output your redstone. And once again, redstone um, output can be adjusted via the buttons on the right hand side. And then if we set it to clear, then it shall turn off. We also have some glass interval signal timers, so basically they just output signals very similar to a timer and you can adjust the values for how long they're on and off for and then whether or not they're on standby, so pretty easy, pretty simple. Next up we have basically a version of wireless redstone. So via using a ender pearl so if we get a ender pearl from the inventory um i've already done it for these ones but basically what you do is you right click on say the receiving block so not the sender the receiving block that you wish to output the redstone to first you left click on that and then you left click on say the button or lever 
that is going to be sending that redstone signal and then it'll basically send and receive the redstone signal this is very similar for these industrial switch links senders and receivers you can link them up to each other using the ender pearl as well however when inputted with a redstone signal will send and receive it for you but i suggest just using the buttons to the actual block or lever or you know lamp whatever so just do that much easier way but basically all it does is uh, say if i was to send the uh, input signal it then outputs at the other end and then you also have a pulse version which just does a one pulse kind of like button next up we have the gauges um, which i talked about a little bit earlier they display in various different ways, let's put it that way. This one's like a accelerometer, this one's like a heat tube thing, a thermal tube, and then this one's just a digital clock type of redstone gauge. So these basically just react to the amount of redstone power that's being inputted into it. So I've got these industrial dimmers, which actually are from the same mod. And they're very useful in the fact that they can send a adjustable amount of redstone power out and i thought they'd be perfect to be used to show you guys how these gauges work so as you can see as i adjust the redstone power they um, also change which is pretty cool this one obviously very similar to your accelerometer and then this one once again like your uh, little thermal heat tube very easy very simple and then last but not least this one which is the industrial LED kind of text one which just outputs the actual number right so this is the last feature of the mod that I'm going to cover for now it is the bow and arrow archer button so basically it's like a little uh, arrow uh, target and uh, yeah when shot outputs like a button pretty easy pretty simple right guys that's pretty much it for this episode i hope you guys enjoyed um also since i haven't really talked to you guys in a while um i hope you guys had a very merry christmas and also a very happy new year um so don't worry there's going to be some more videos that will be coming out over the course of this year so um keep in tune for that so if you haven't already leave a like and subscribe um tick that little notification bell if you haven't already and also subscribe to me on you know like twitter and facebook at ordinal wolf uh just big at ordinal wolf links will also be in the description same with the link to this mod reds oh sorry gauges and switches by wild chaotic um so uh, yeah thank you all for watching and i shall see you in the next video right take care and goodbye